How you do anything is how you do everything. I think we should do a video about how to stop being lazy because we all know <laughs> that it's pretty easy to just procrastinate, but that's really not helping us get where we wanna go. So That spirit of laziness that is so easy to take on does not bring us the things in life that we actually want. Diligence is the opposite of laziness. So what essentially is laziness? Well, it's being unwilling to work. It's being idle. It's being inactive because we need to get off our butts and actually do something. <laughs> Even the ants are busy preparing. So are you being lazy? Maybe you struggle with procrastination. You know, everywhere we turn, we go, oh, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I'll do it later. I'm too busy right now. I don't feel like it right now. Netflix is calling my name. <laughs> I just wanna just sprawl out on the couch and relax. And we're not just talking to you. We're talking to ourselves here because it's very easy to fall into these traps. So today we wanna share with you seven tips they're actually habits for you to start implementing in your life that are gonna help you avoid that spirit of laziness because that spirit of laziness is not producing good things in our lives. Some of these habits are things that they are not by any means like revolutionary things. They're right? not mind blowing. <laughs> no, they're just <laughs> habits that you can start building into your life. They're simple things that will have drastic and a drastic impact on your results in your life. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is sleep, or what does sleep have to do with laziness? Well, if you are constantly not getting enough rest, not getting enough sleep, it causes you to feel that sense of procrastination. You don't wanna do it because you're too tired. Mm -hmm. That's being lazy, because you're being lazy at not getting enough rest. It <laughs> yeah. means maybe going to bed half an hour earlier or an hour earlier but instead of staying up and watching another show go to bed and get some rest so that you actually can get up early feel better the next day have the energy so that you will be diligent in your tasks mm -hmm. so getting enough sleep is one of those that's like we all know that but many of us do not have that as a good habit to get enough sleep so the second one is this starting your day with these two things making your bed and reading your bible and again it's not revolutionary, but the thing is, when we have a tidy house, then we can have a tidy mind, right? I don't know about you, but when there is mess and chaos everywhere all around, it's pretty hard to focus on anything because the mess, the chaos, turns into a mess and chaos in your head. And so it's pretty hard to be diligent when you're like, tripping over things when your brain is seeing all of these other things that need to be done spending time with god then that's really going to help us to combat that spirit of laziness as well in fact a, a mentor of mine says this every mess is a lock on the gate which keeps success out you know we have different kinds of things going on in our life but every mess is a mess that needs to be cleaned up Maybe our messes are there because of laziness. Another one is do the dishes. Yeah. You know, like I make sure that, this is a habit of mine, before I go to bed at night, I make sure the dishes are out of the sink. It's cleaned up. I don't like to get up in the morning and come to a dirty sink. I like no. to have my, my water and my coffee in the morning and I like to see a clean kitchen. So as simple as a task of that, it doesn't take me long. It takes like five minutes to quickly clean up the, the sink and the dishes. Mm -hmm. And I feel so much better in the morning when I wake up to a clean kitchen. And you might be thinking on these ones like, oh my goodness, I like a mess. You know, I, I don't want to <laughs> tidy up my house. I don't want to tidy up my life. But we are here to tell you that that is an area of your life that might need some addressing, that you might need to address. Because I know lots of people who they just don't care right? And they think, oh, I'll deal with it later. I'll deal with it tomorrow. And we're not saying that you have to have the perfect shining house that, you know, should be on the cover of a magazine. That's not at either. all what we're saying. <laughs> but taking good care of the things that we have is important. Because it's respectful and honoring to God, because we're taking care of what he's provided for us. Mm -hmm. is food.
food preparation. Now, we often talk about weight loss, but food preparation just in regular living, regular everyday life is important. If we don't do this, what do we do? Well, we fill our, our bodies with junk food We constantly. grab the convenient stuff if there's nothing healthy prepared. And when we do this day after day, it is not helping us stay healthy. So really it's laziness in not getting food prepared so that we can have a healthy body. We need a healthy body in order to carry out the purpose God has for us. So part of that is a habit of preparation. Exactly. Preparation is key. Another big habit is learning how to manage your time. Mm, now, big one. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it said before that we can't actually manage time because time keeps ticking along no matter what we do, right? We can't make the clock move faster or slower. But what we can do is be intentional with how we spend our time. And when we're dealing with that spirit of laziness, maybe you've heard yourself say this, oh, I'm just going to sit here and scroll for another 20 minutes because I don't feel like going to do the dishes, right? So we need to learn how to manage our time. We need how to learn how to put boundaries around it so that maybe you're going to say, I'm going to sit for another five minutes and I'm going to set an alarm. And when that alarm goes off, Boom, I'm getting up and I'm going to go do those dishes, right? And then if there's a task that you have that you are really not wanting to do, that you really are wanting to procrastinate on, another thing that you can do is put a boundary around the time that you have to actually do that task for. So if you really don't want to fold the laundry, but the laundry really needs folding, give yourself a timer for 10 minutes and go hard at that laundry for 10 minutes and see how much you can accomplish and you will be amazed at how much you actually get done if you just get up and get going. And you'll feel so good about yourself afterwards. <laughs> and that you might even go, wow, that timer went already, I'm gonna do another 10. <laughs> That's right. So the next tip is to make a list of the tasks that you want to get done. Sometimes just writing them down and then prioritizing them and say, well, today I'm gonna do the top three or the top two. Maybe they're big tasks, maybe it's one, but figure out what the priorities are and then with your list, you can check them off as you do them. And that gives you a huge sense of accomplishment because you know that you're not just being lazy. You're getting something done mm -hmm. and that feels good. Exactly. And finally, our last tip is this. Do what you say you're going to do. Uh, this wow. is a big one. So many times in my life, I have been disappointed by other people who have said, oh, I'm going to do this or I'm going to be there at this time or, 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 or and they don't do what they say they're gonna do. And I've been guilty of it too, we all have, but that's really disheartening. And so if we take responsibility for ourselves and actually do what we say we're gonna do, then that's gonna help us to overcome that laziness. Because if we say that we're gonna do the dishes, well then let's be people with integrity who do what we say we're gonna do and get up and do the dishes. <laughs> Sometimes it's that like kick in the pants that you gotta just go, you know what, I said I was gonna do that, so I better get up off my butt and do it. Don't you want a legacy of someone saying, wow, she meant what she said. That just feels so much better than, oh, what a lazy person. Yeah. Wow, what a difference. How you do anything is how you do everything. And that really goes along with the whole diligence versus laziness idea. If you're diligent in one aspect of your life, it's probably gonna carry on to other areas and aspects of your life. Mm -hmm. If you're lazy in a lot of things, it's probably gonna show in your life in a lot of things. So if you wanna start turning that around, the biggest thing that you can do is to start getting disciplined in one area of your life because if you start changing it, if you start becoming more disciplined, then how you do anything is how you do everything and the other areas of your life are going to start to follow suit. So we really just want to encourage you today that if you are struggling with this idea or feeling or living in this spirit of laziness that you can change, you can change your ways because we can get out of that inactiveness and idleness and step into being active. Mm -hmm. We can be like the ant and start to um, do the things that God is calling us to do. Get rid of those distractions. Persevere. We're called to act. And so let's start being diligent. Let's get up off our butts and do something today. So we're Ruth and Casey and we're here to encourage you today with our everyday challenges. Laziness is one of them, but we want you to Flip the switch. We want you to be diligent today. So you know what? Get your phone out, set a timer, 
and get something done. That's right. <laughs> and we know that every day is a battle, but we also know that with God in the journey, we are victorious.